This week, Metro Police made an arrest more than six years in the making. A DNA match back in the spring changed a murder case without leads into one with a potential answer. Fox 59's Eric Gray shares the timeline from the oldest days of this investigation until now. IMPD says a 23-year-old man is now in jail for killing a woman more than six years ago. It was on this block of Nowland Avenue back in 2016 when a person driving by saw a woman laying outside of a red pickup. We like to think no case is actually cold. 23-year-old Jaylon Walker is now charged with murder in the death of 41-year-old Angela Wright. This is video from July 14, 2016, just after 5 a.m. when IMPD officers found Wright with a gunshot wound to her head outside of this red pickup truck. At the time, no arrests were made. You can imagine the frustration that uh, we share with the community whenever we have a case that goes unsolved. IMPD even created a video about the case, posted to YouTube back in 2017 with the original detective giving details. If you have information regarding Angela's murder, please call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. Please help us bring Angela's killers to justice. But no arrests could be made until a break this past spring. According to court records, IMPD got a CODIS hit for DNA collected from the original scene matching that of Jaylon Walker's. It's a database full of DNA profiles. Some are known, some are unknown. Paul Keenan is a retired FBI agent who now runs a consulting firm. He says participating agencies enter DNA from felony arrests or crime scenes. Jalen Walker had been arrested for a felony just a month before the CODIS hit. In May, IMPD got confirmation prints taken from the passenger door of the red pickup truck Wright was found by matched Walker's prints. Keenan says this shows the importance of collecting and keeping evidence. You don't get a second chance with these types of cases when you're collecting the evidence. So you want to be as thorough as possible. From there, court docs showed IMPD interviewed Walker three times, discovering he lived less than a quarter mile from where the crime happened. Walker did not admit to the crime, but in late August, the crime lab gave a final confirmation. Three DNA swamps from Wright's body matched Walker's DNA. Murder charges were filed against Walker Thursday. Reporting in Indianapolis, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.